finally made it to the Smile booth. I saved the best for last year. I'm with uh, Jordan Satok, and uh, we're going to talk about advances in Text Expander, one of my absolute favorite applications. That's great. I'm great to hear. I'm very happy to hear that. I can't live without Text Expander. But just in case there's somebody on the planet who hasn't heard about it, what does Text Expander do? So Text Expander lets you create these short abbreviations that then expand into more content. This is great for frequently used phrases or your signatures in documents. Um, filling web forms, really things that you frequently need to do that saves you a lot of time. You know, I've never used it for filling web forms. That's I definitely do the signature, I do naming of folders, all kinds of stuff with it, but in the HTML snippets that uh, I think Gene actually worked on, so that's a lot of fun too. Yeah, the, the filling web forms is, is new in, in PDF Pen 3. Oh, I thought we were talking about Text Expander. Sorry, that's what it, Sorry about that, Text Expander 3. <laughs> okay, good. All right, I don't want to get confused. Yeah. I'm so easily confused right. on my own. You don't need yeah, help. Yeah, yeah, sorry about that. Um, so if I can show you Text Expander on the screen here, um, Text Expander 3 now runs as a standalone application as opposed to a preference pane. God bless you. I'm telling you, I, I hated it the other way. I love it as a standalone yeah, application. It's so much faster, yeah. snappier, and efficient. It makes it a lot easier to use. So we've created a bunch of sample snippets here. Here's one for Macworld San Francisco. So typing MWSF, for example, anywhere on your computer, any application, will expand it as Macworld San Francisco. This is something that in planning for the show, we've needed to type so many times. So rather than typing Macworld San Francisco so many times, MWSF fixes that problem. You do know, of course, that's the first snippet I did before I came here in Text Expander. Mine was just MWE and, and it comes up. That's great, that's great. And it also does things like graphics. So here, um, typing in this case SIG1, will expand into, into an email signature or a document signature, including a graphic. Um, and this can have formatted text, like if you want to have colors in your text or specific fonts, that works as well. That is really cool. You know, I haven't done that, inserting your, your signature as a graphic. That's a cool idea. Yeah, and it works in any program on your Mac, be it uh, a Word document or be it a mail message anywhere on your Mac. Uh, I've always been worried, though, that somebody's going to take that signature and apply it to some document and say, hey, you signed it. Here it is. <laughs> you need to be careful. You need to be careful. All right, what else is new in Text Expander 3? So, Text Expander 3 also has the ability to sync uh, with Dropbox. It, this was previously available in Text Expander 2, but it was something that you needed to configure yourself. So, Text Expander 3 makes it really easy. Um, right from the preferences, you hit sync and you select Dropbox, and it's it's one click install, very, very simple to do. Um, and, and you can sync between the, between your Macs very easily. Now, um, I know that you've got Text Expander on the iPhone. Does the, If I've got Dropbox running on my iPhone, can I get to those Text Expander snippets? It's not something that's available yet, but something we really want to do. Yeah, yeah, okay. And I see that you've also got mobile me syncing there too. Yeah, mobile me syncing has been available for a little while, and, and it's, it's great. I'm pretty sure I have that going. I'm actually a one Mac person, so I don't use that too much. But uh, I'm interested in how the iPhone's come along too. Yeah, Text Expander Touch has been doing uh, really well. The thing about Text Expander on the iPhone is that because of some of the limitations in the iPhone SDK, uh, it can't run natively in the background as it does on the Mac. So we've integrated with a bunch of developers um, to make it to make it work as, as best as possible. Um, we have now have over uh, 80 applications that support it. 80 applications yeah, with great. it? Okay, the last time I tried it, it was like three. So uh, yeah. maybe it's time to give it another it's try. really great. Um, We've integrated with a lot of really popular applications, things like Things or Elements. Uh, Twitter for iPhone has it. Um, Pocket Informant. Um, a lot of great apps um, that are built right in. These are just some of them. Oh, I see the Simple iPad. Note on there. Yeah, Simple Note supports it. Um, to Do on the iPhone and iPad support it. Um, very, very simple um, to use. So if, if we take a look at this, um, just as on the Mac, you have a list of, uh, list of snippets. Um, You've a list of snippets in groups. So here's just our sample group. SIG1, just as it did on the Mac, this syncs wirelessly, is here on the iPad. Um, and going into an app, let's say like Elements, um, if you create a new document and type, um, type your SIG1, uh, sorry, type SIG1, then it will expand out your whole message. Really, really simple. Uh, I noticed it didn't bring the graphic in. Yeah, it's, we just haven't synced that over, and it's, unfortunately graphics isn't something we've done on the iPad yet. Okay. Um, it's just text for now. Okay, um, all right. Because most of, the thing is is that most of the, the editors on the iPad aren't rich text, they're just oh, plain text. So it'd be a waste. So it, it wouldn't really do much anyway. Um, it also works in, in apps like, uh, like Things, which is a very popular to-do app. Um, so here, if I'm going to say uh, demo um, T-E-T -E for Text Expander Touch, it just gets inserted right away. I can save that and I guess check it off now that I've demoed it to you. Um, very simple, very easy to use.
That looks really cool. So let's talk about pricing. How much does Text Expander Touch cost? The Text Expander Touch is four ninety nine. Is that a universal app? Yeah, that's a universal app for both the iPhone and iPad. So we only have to buy it once. You only have to buy it once. Yay. To work on your iPhone and iPad. There should be a law against people who don't do that. <laughs> And uh, how about on the uh, on the Mac? It's thirty four ninety nine, and we've got a twenty percent off show special. So um, I know that th to some people that might sound like a lot of money, but but it's so much fun to just not type stuff over and over and over again. And you know we're all getting carpal tunnel syndrome someday, if not already. And uh, to be able to have all that stuff go for you, it just feels so efficient. Yeah, it's great. I I, I love it myself, and uh, it's always fun to look at. There's a there's a statistics panel in Tax Expander that says how much time you've saved. So if you think about what your time is worth, looking at that panel and saying, if I could save three hours on my time, it just pays for itself. So, Oh, it, this is great. What it says, uh, for anybody who's uh, just listening, it says, Snippets Expanded, 573, characters saved, 33,593. Uh, hours saved, if you were typed at 80 words per minute, would be 1.4 hours. And this is just in the three days that we've had it at Macworld. So you can see that that typing these things out very quickly saves you a lot of time. Yeah, I just I just love it. In fact, uh, this morning my husband leaned over to me and he goes, "How come I don't have Text Expander yet? Why haven't you gotten that for me yet?" So uh, that's on our to-do list. Maybe we'll take advantage of that 20% off. And we've even got a family pack if the two of you want to use it together. Oh, there you go. I probably have it and I forgot. I'll just buy it again. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much for your time, Jordan. Great. Thank you.